YouTube, it's Keisha. Um, wanted to drop by real quick and make another video. So I realized that if I want to be more engaged with my YouTube channel and have more content, I probably have to branch out just a little bit and talk about things that are not exactly always lock related. So I'm going to focus on other things that I care about sometimes, not all the time, every once in a while like uh, skincare, fitness, um, you know, and other cool things, mental health, um, and things that I basically just like. And I know most people I think are primarily signed up to me for a lot of content and that will never change. This channel will always be first and foremost a lock hair care tutorial slash lock update lock journey channel. But I'm gonna sprinkle in a little uh, something different every once in a while. And you know, if it doesn't appeal to you, you you can just wait till the next lock video, but I think some people are interested in other things. So I guess you can't make everybody happy all of the time. I can just try to do what I think is interesting and hope that people gravitate towards it. So that's what I'm going to do. So this video, I'm talking about my skincare products that I have been using um, now that the weather is a little bit warmer and it's springtime. Um, I was dealing with what I thought was really stubborn acne for quite some time and after a good deal of research I found out that um, I actually had what's called bacterial folliculitis which is when your hair follicles um, which can be anywhere you have hair follicles everywhere on your body except for basically the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. So basically anywhere you can get folliculitis, but I had it really badly on my forehead and I also had it on my cheeks. And basically folliculitis looks like a really bad breakout of acne. Um, it might be inflamed, it might be red. The difference is folliculitis is itchy. So if you're dealing with a stubborn breakout that isn't going away despite you using traditional acne products, then you might wanna look into whether or not you have folliculitis. So I'm just gonna talk about some of the products that helped me to heal my skin. Um, if you look at my forehead now, you can see that it's relatively clear. I'm gonna insert a picture of what my forehead looked like when it was at its worst, so you can see what uh, exactly I'm talking about. And my skin just got worse and worse and worse and worse so I just quit using all of the products altogether and ever since that time my skin has not been the same I have battled breakouts uh, across various parts of my face I have um, acne scarring from all of the breakouts that I got because of the medications that I was put on um, you can see all the dark marks here on my cheeks. That was never there before. And now my forehead, if you can see, has a bunch of tiny little pimples all over it that refuse to go away. And every time the pimple does uh, clear, it leaves behind these tiny little marks of hyperpigmentation, as you can see here. So, now it's almost a year later. April 2017 will make a year and I'm still having these issues. So I, um, for the most part, my skin today looks a lot better. I'm still dealing with some, you know, dark marks from the folliculitis, but those are actually also fading. And my skin is the best that it's looked in probably about a year now. So to start, um, I did a lot of research and I found this product which is called Hibiclens and it's actually an antimicrobial surgical grade soap. So this is what um, surgeons use to wash their hands in hospitals prior to going into the operating room. It's very, very strong. Um, and since it's an antimicrobial, antimicrobial antiseptic soap, as you can imagine, it kills bacteria. So I just started applying this to my skin 
I wouldn't wet my face or anything like that. I would apply it directly onto my skin and leave it onto my leave it on my skin for about 10 minutes until it completely dried and then I would wash it off. And I did that morning and night every day. And within about two weeks, my folliculitis was pretty much gone, which is amazing. And the great thing about Hippoclins is that your uh, body or your skin does not grow tolerant to it like it might do with many other products. So that's the really good thing about it is that you can use it basically as much as you want and you won't build up a tolerance to it. Um, the main thing about it is though you want to make sure that you're not getting into it into your eyes, your mouth, your ears, or your nose because that's really bad. But if you're careful, you'll be fine. And then for a basic everyday cleanser, I use this Desert Essence Sterling Clean Face Wash which has tea tree oil in it. Um, tea tree oil is a natural antiseptic slash antifungal and it's also really good at lightening up dark marks. So this has been amazing. I have noticed a huge difference in my skin since using this and all of my dark marks have started to fade dramatically. Um, this is also really great at removing makeup if you happen to wear that. So I love it and it's all natural, has great ingredients, um, no animal testing, no parabens, no artificial ingredients, no SLS, no glycols, eh, no petroleum. It's a great product. For moisture, for moisturizer, I use this Cetaphil um, oil control moisturizer for acne prone skin. I really like it. Really, one thing I really like about this product, or two things I should say, is that it's SPF 30. And secondly, it doesn't leave like an ashy white cast on your skin like a lot of sunscreens do. I'm actually using a different sunscreen right now. I'm using um, Eucerin sunscreen that also has SPF 30, but I notice it leaves like a chalky kind of ashy looking um, tone to my complexion, which fades after a while. But if you want to avoid that ashy look completely, I would recommend this Cetaphil um, oil control moisturizer for acne prone skin, which I don't really have acne prone skin, but um, I'm using it now because I got it when I had the folliculitis and I thought I was acne prone. But I do have combination oily skin, so this definitely comes in handy during the spring and summer months where uh, my skin gets a little more oily in my T-zone. And then lastly, um, I've been using this Neutrogena Rapid Clear uh, Daily Leave-On Mask for Stubborn Acne. This product is awesome. Um, benzoyl peroxide kills bacteria. It kills the bacteria in your pores. That's one thing that distinguishes it from salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is not antibacterial, but uh, benzoyl peroxide is. So uh, since I had um, bacterial folliculitis, I would apply this to my skin in a very thin layer and then just leave it on. Um, I apply it in large um, over large areas before I go to bed so all my forehead and all my cheeks and then I go to bed and then during the day or in the morning I'll just use this as a spot treatment and just put it on pimples like this big one that just popped up but you can see even on my cheeks other than this pimple here like my skin is like much much clearer I just have these dark marks that are slowly fading and last but not least um, I use this spin brush from Vanity Planet, which is battery operated and the head spins. You've probably seen this like all over YouTube. Everybody uses this brush or some variation of it like a Clarisonic um, or what have you. But yeah, this is great for just really um, exfoliating dead skin, getting into your pores and cleaning it out. Um, so I don't use this every time I wash my face, uh, especially if you have like a really bad breakout or if you have folliculitis, you may not want to use this every day or every time you wash your face because it can be very irritating. So maybe like using it every few days is a good idea. That's what I do. So I'll use it like every other day or every um, three days. And I use that brush with this face wash. I just pump 
one pump on the brush head and then I use it to wash my face. And I do want to say one thing about this is that when you're using a spin brush or any um, anything really to exfoliate your face, you don't need to dig it into your face as you're washing it. Um, it's kind of like brushing your teeth. You don't have to dig your toothbrush and press really hard when you brush your teeth. That actually can do a lot of damage to your gums. Like the bristles itself, they're very effective. All you need to do is just gently touch the brush against your skin and it'll do the job. I just noticed that, um, and I'm guilty of this too, sometimes people will use a brush and think that they have to really like grind it into their skin and that actually can be very irritating to your skin and cause a lot of damage. So you don't need to do that. The brush is effective enough on its own. So yeah guys, um, I just wanted to come through and do a quick video about some of the products that I've been using. Um, and I've been using these products consistently for the last two to three weeks and um, you can see from the pictures I've inserted that it's made a huge difference with my skincare. So I would highly recommend them. Um, once my folliculitis is completely clear and gone, the only product I'm gonna continue with is this one. And that's because this brand is all natural and cruelty free. And those are the products that I typically use. I don't like using harsh uh, products that have a lot of chemicals or artificial ingredients in them like Cetaphil and like Hibiclins. These I use on a short-term basis for um, to medicate a problem. And then once the problem's gone, I toss the products. I don't like using, you know, bad products like that. So yeah, um, if you guys have are currently struggling with any skin issues, please comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite products are to use, particularly if they're all natural, organic, cruelty-free, vegan products. Um, I really try to support brands like that. And all right, guys, it's been really good talking to you and making this really quick video. Um, I'm gonna be making videos a little bit more often, just talking a little bit about some of the other things going on so you can get to know me a little bit better. But like I said, this channel will always be first and foremost a lock channel. And uh, I have a little cute style that I'm wearing today, as you can see. Um, I like to call this like a little mini lock crown. <laughs> and I feel like this is a really good way to kind of dress up your locks on short notice. It's really quick, it doesn't take long to do. And uh, you put on a nice pair of earrings and you look really fancy. So. I wear this when I go to the gym though, to get my hair off my face. And then uh, I noticed that it also is a really cute little video, uh, video, a cute little hairstyle for like a date night or going to something cute that you wanna dress up a bit for. So let me know if you guys want a tutorial on this and uh, I will post one. But yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.